Volunteers in Mission is an outreach ministry of the United Methodist Church. Each year, hundreds of volunteers and mission teams across the world work to show the light of Christ through their actions and fellowship. Today, we will hear from the Director of Volunteers and Mission for the Susquehanna Conference. Thank you for coming, Kurt. I appreciate the chance. You had a short walk across the hallways <laughs> and come here to work today, but um, we appreciate you coming and sharing your knowledge of, of volunteers and mission. I appreciate it. It's always an adventure to get out and speak and and to share the call that we all have to serve. How did you first hear about the organization? Well, actually, through another conference. Um, okay. A number of years ago, I felt that God was calling me to, to put my faith in action and had been challenged by some non-Methodist churches in our area as they went out and served on an annual basis. And as I tried to make contacts, I ended up in Baltimore till I found a team that was open to saying, hey, come on, go you know, go on the adventure with us, serve with us. And so that was my first real contact with volunteer admission. So where did you go on that first trip, and how long was that? My first trip was to Costa Rica. Uh, I, was, I, I was there for 17 days, and um, we did church construction primarily, but also then had, while we were there, our team split up, and we did a vacation Bible school for about a week with uh, the kids from really all over the region. What do you think it was that made you get hooked on going on mission trips and volunteers in mission? I think one of the main things that touched me was during that first trip, we had a district superintendent come to thank us for being there. And during his presentation, he looked at, it felt like he was looking at each of us in our eyes and said, you are proof of God's faithfulness. And that rocked me. Um, of all the things in my, in my faith and in my life, I recognized at least many of my failings, and there's no way I could ever think of myself before that as proof of God's faithfulness, that God is using me. And it, his testimony and his, his sermon that, that weekend really helped me see that, that in spite of my failings, we, we all have failings, but God can use us. And if we let ourselves be used, we can bless others and, and we can bring, bring glory to God and make disciples for Christ. Yeah, that is a wonderful testament that a lot of times by giving out that you also um, feel validated in yourself and that God can use you and um, has great plans. It's very humbling. So what are your plans for the mission and how do you hope to grow the volunteers in mission? I think my goal is that everyone that has a desire, everyone that that feels that call from God that, that they should be serving in, in a short-term mission role, um, that I can connect them with the opportunity, that, they, that they're not just sitting in the pews saying, I wish I could mm -hmm. or I want to. I want to help them find the opportunity, find the team to join up with. Um, I don't want them to have to go to another state to find a, an opportunity to, to to serve. And um, I think that's the biggest, in the biggest uh, scope of things is my goal, to hook up every volunteer, everyone who wants to serve with the right opportunity to serve. Mm -hmm. So part of your role is if someone just wants to go on missions, but maybe they're not linked up with the church right now, is just helping them to find a group that's going. Are the groups normally one church groups, or are they multiple church groups? It, it really varies. I mean, uh, many of our groups are, are, are based in a single church, but I look at our own congregation. Obviously, I got involved, and after that it grew from we weren't just a part of this team from Annapolis. We then got our own team. Well, now we've w we've welcomed the members from, I, I can't even count how many different congregations across the region. So there's there's a real mix. Uh, and, and some churches have a strong enough program that they can fill a team just from their own congregation. So there's a real mix. 
Have you ever found, has anyone come to you that wasn't hooked up with a church right now, but that they wanted to do mission? They still had that in their heart, and then just being involved and seeing God's love kind of brought them back to that? Personally, most of, most of my folks have been have had some sort of church connection. Mm-hmm. But one of the things we have seen is a real deepening mm-hmm. of, of folks' relationship with Christ. Mm-hmm. Um, I think of, of one individual who's been a great friend over the years and, and saw him every Sunday morning and we joked and we laughed. and I uh, sort of poked and conjoled him for several years. You need to go on a team with me. You need to go on a team. And, yeah, I'd like to, but, but... And eventually he did, and uh, he's now a pastor. Oh wow! <laughs> uh, yeah. And part of his testimony is that his experience there was part of his realization of his call, and oh. so um, that certainly is is one instance. But I also look at, at our other team members and how it's not only led to more involvement in mission, but it's le- it's led a lot of folks to more involvement in the church at home. Mm-hmm. I thank you so much for sharing and for getting out there and speaking to church groups about volunteers and mission and um, also having them know that there's an opportunity to open it up to other people as well and have them involved and have fellowship with them. Well, I appreciate the opportunity and, and just reiterate that if someone, if God's laying that on your heart, give me a call, drop me an email. Um, we do trainings for, for leaders. We help churches organize their own teams as well so if if you have a question of volunteer mission you, you now have a resource great so if you would like to learn more about volunteers and mission and how you can get in touch with kurt you can check out my facebook page or my blog at sesquahanna express.blogspot.com <laughs>